Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video, I will speak about the project uh, Socket Chat, where we will build the first uh, server application with uh, Python. So, the first you you need to do is say pip install flask, and we need to install one more pip install flask socket io. When you have installed that, uh, two packages should be ready to to create our first application here. Let's call it the uh, app. I love the name app. And inside here, we need to say from Flask, import Flask, and then we need from Flask socket IO, import socket IO, and now we need the app we will call Flask and name Flask. If you don't know about Flask and what it is, you can watch my tutorial videos about Flask and uh, then you can play around Flask how it's, it's, it's working. But Flask is a, it's a REST API and some people use it for web development and other for, for REST. I love to use it as, for the, uh, as REST, sorry for the words. And now I have learned about use Flask for, for socket po uh, programming uh, for WebSocket. That's very nice. So the next one it should be config. And then we need the secret key. The secret key is, is the handshake. So it should be very secret. Only you need to know that, the server at least. It's how to communicate between the server and the client. And then we will call socket IO and it should be the socket IO and we'll put the app inside. Now we need we are ready to create a server for first time. I'll say the if name is equal to main. Then we need to start app debug is true. And then we need to say socket uh, run app on port 12345. Let's try it out. Say Python app. And it's because I probably have another uh, socket run here. So let's say 2345. And yes, that's true. That's how it's working. So now our socket basically um, working. But we need a few things before we will uh, close this video down and, and continue for the next part. We need to create one here to say uh, socket IO on connect. It's meaning when the when the client uh, connects. Then we need to print out here. Client connect and we'll copy those and we need one for disconnect. Oops. You can see if Flask is reloaded itself because we have setting for debug mode. And now we will see about if there will be incoming uh, to the server and up here I will make a comment to so say uh, flask or socket IO transport layer can be added here so that's how simple it is to build your first socket uh, web socket uh, server with Python and in the next video I will uh, connect or client in, in the, the view project client to the server here in Python. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy and of course I hope you want to subscribe my channel. It will make me very proud and you can do it in the right corner in the thing and of course I hope you want to like this video and share it with your friends. If you have any questions in uh, to this video or other videos please make a comment below. I'll try to answer them as fast as possible and of course 
I appreciate your time here on this video and I hope to see you next time. So thank you for watching and see you next time.